Hey, welcome to another Daily Darkness. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the uh, latest update from Nintendo. I know everybody's all buzzing about, of course, the new Legend of Zelda, the NX, and everything else that's coming back. But they're actually giving us a throwback. Uh, they're actually sending us a basically a what's known as a mini NES. Um, I granted you see a lot of third party companies out there make like plug and play like Sega Genesis um, and televisions, things of that nature. Nintendo is making their own officially licensed, coming directly from them, uh, mini Nintendo Entertainment System with 30 games automatically built in. Um, I'm greatly curious about this because uh, it features a lot of classics. Uh, the only grievances I have with it are the fact that, number one, you've got the retro gaming community out there screaming foul that this is somehow going to lessen basically their crude collections or devalue things or things of that nature. I mean, if you're collecting games and playing video games for, you know, the money it could potentially give you later in life, you've, you're the wrong reason for gaming. I, I, I like retro games simply because I can go to the flea market or a mom and pop store and pick up a bag of them for, you know, get like four or five for like less than five dollars. You know, and it gives me something to do. You know, I, I get all kinds of great stuff on my GameCube for less than five bucks a pop. And hell, I've even picked up GameCubes for less than ten, fifteen dollars, uh, which is amazing. Uh, but it's neat to see them do something that's a throwback to the original NES because it is one of the more collected retro systems that are out there. Uh, my only grievance is, is number one, they've got Super C on this thing, which is great, don't get me wrong. But if you're going to have Super C, throw in the original Contra. You know, Konami desperately could use it and you guys could def definitely use it on the system um same goes with Mega Man uh you guys have Mega Man 2 why not Mega Man 1 uh granted yes I've got the big old collection on my GameCube with all the Mega Man games ever made um which is great but you know it'd be nice on this mini NES to add in Mega Man number one um same way with for example the Donkey Kong series that they have on there they've got Donkey Kong 1 and 2 I'm shocked they didn't put Donkey Kong Math on there because that's, you know, a shitty game to begin with. But they didn't throw in Donkey Kong 3. Yes, it's a low-rated game. Yes, a lot of people hate it, but it's part of the Black Box series. It should have been included, good old Donkey Kong 3, along with even Popeye, which would have been a nice throw-in. In fact, personally, I think they should have put all the Black Boxes um, from back in the day into the collection. Uh, which have been nice. Um, but that's my only grievance. You know, it doesn't have Contra number one. It does have Super C, which is the sequel, uh, which annoys me. It's like when Netflix puts a sequel on, you know, Netflix and they don't put the original film. Because if you've never seen the original and you're curious about the sequel, why watch the sequel if you haven't seen the original yet? So it's kind of annoying. In my opinion of it is, if you're going to put a sequel in there, it should be done in pairs. If you're going to put Hellraiser 2 out there, you should have Hellraiser 1 and the rest of the sequels all in there as well. I get it, licensing issues, things of that nature. But a lot of these games, Nintendo has the rights to. Because when they prov uh, basically published the cartridges back in the day... That was one of the big things that, you know, a lot of third-party companies had to do. They had to sign off the rights to be allowed to be in Nintendo. So, granted, yes, there should be their version of Contra on there. As to why it's not, I have no idea. Um, like I said, they do have Super C, which is kind of a hyped-up version of the original Contra. But, come on, toss me a bone here. Throw on the original Contra, throw on Mega Man 1, and then on top of that, throw in Donkey Kong, you know, 3, and, and we'll call it that. But, again, it's a great deal. You don't get the game by an extra controller for an extra 10 bucks. But um, it's something worth checking out. That should hit shelves around November. I would recommend if you're interested in it, you pre-order now. That way you have access to it. Um, but, again, you know, I'm a gamer. I love old school games, and this has a few of them, including, I think, Castlevania 1 and 2. I'll have to look at the list again. It'd be nice if they threw in Castlevania 3, but heaven forbid they throw in a rare game. Um, anyways, guys, I love you. It's something worth checking out. I'll be back on here in a couple more minutes with some Q&A stuff. If you have questions, please drop me a bone. Ask that question. Ask me anything, honey child. I don't care what it is. You want to ask me about my sexuality? You want to ask me about, you know, gender? You want to ask me about, hey, what movies you like? You know, don't ask me what's my favorite movie because it's hard for me to come out and say what my favorite movie is. Um, but you can ask me what movies that I enjoy, um, what type of games I enjoy. I'll, I'll answer anything. So throw me a bone and I'll definitely answer it. Love you guys. Mama Sasha, wish you to take care and I'll talk to you here in a few.